Hey everybody, Tactic Angel here, back on the PlayStation 4, playing some boats again. We're on Trident. Here is my wakeful. And for those of you who have seen my Royal Navy Destroyer line quick guide review thing, whatever, thank you, first of all. And some of this footage may look a little bit uh, familiar. Kind of, uh, this is how the sausage was made video. Uh, I essentially played, I had to play several of these ships over again because, of course, I hadn't played them in a while. Uh, so long, in fact, that for most of these I had to apply a flag since I burned through the Royal Navy destroyers before the patch came out that allowed you to fly uh, the flag up there. So, of course, now I have the crash test dummy flag, which means I've been playing this game for quite a while. In any case, here we are. We're in Wakefield. Wakefield. Wakeful. I'm going to go ahead and put my commander up on the screen. And we're going to go through this play-by-play. -play. Uh, essentially, what I was looking for when I was putting together this video is I wanted something that would kind of demonstrate what each ship is relatively decent at. Um, and for that, for that, I don't really need you know, 10-15 minutes of unadulterated awesomeness. I just need, you know, some decent bits of gameplay. And this was the, uh, the one game that I played in The Wakeful, because I'm low on camera right now. And so I was actually rather happy to have had a good result. But more on that in just a second. Uh, essentially what we've done here is we've rolled out to the left we start getting into uh, a knife fight with several other destroyers, or at least one other destroyer, that V-170. And I know there's another ship in that smoke screen. I threw out, as you saw, kind of a wide torpedo spread. Uh, I'm still firing from cover here, but I can see that this other destroyer is making a break for it. And I'm not sure if he's the destroyer that I'm looking for or not. Uh, as it turns out, not. Uh, if I look over to my other side, I've got actually a whole slew of ships, but one of them is this Acasta. And for the moment, he doesn't seem too interested in shooting at me, and I'm not real interested in convincing him he should. What I do see is that we've got a little destroyer back here in the backfield, and kind of one of your main duties, at least I think, as a relatively decent gunboat, destroyer is to hunt down these Japanese torpedo magnets. Torpedo magnets? Torpedo factories, really. And make sure that they don't kill all your battleships, because battleships may not be like major game changers in terms of who's going to win, because they can't get to caps too quickly, and they can't they can't win the spotting game, but you want the battleships around because they take the cruisers out of the game. Uh, and for the most part, they're also a little bit a little bit of a deterrent for anybody to, to go in and mess up a group of ships. Because at least there's always going to be that battleship there to lay down the hurt. In any case, we go ahead and shoot the Isizuchi a lot. Now we're heading back over because... We've got that New York over on the corner of our fleet, and we don't want him to die. Uh, as you can see, we're moving this up just a little little faster because it's going to take me just a little bit to get there. Uh, looks like he might have a lot more, a lot more hurt incoming than he even uh, expects because we've got this Phoenix moving up. We've got a, a New York, and now our team is down two boats. And I'm coming up here on this island, um, using the island for a bit of cover. It looks like their New York is going to come around and try to get rid of our New York. Uh, and if he doesn't do it, then this Acasta might make a play and try to torpedo our buddy here. So, what we're trying to do again, trying to help the battleships out here. Because we, we need to keep them alive as much as possible. Um, at this point, they're our entire team, other than other than me, and um, 
we're going to need all the help we can get. Unfortunately, you'll see here for a second, that New York's on really low health. I take the outside road to try to get around him without necessarily sailing into spotting range. I'm hoping in shooting these torpedoes, it's kind of in the line of death formation, that that New York will continue at roughly the same speed and uh, same heading and I'll be able to still stay out of his detectability range as he sails into my torpedoes. Now, unfortunately, he seems to be slowing down, and this is frustrating. Uh, we're gonna see if we can't get his attention, though. So we start shooting at that New York, and, uh, oops. Yep, that Acasta came around on us. And now we gotta think about dealing with him. So we're putting some shells out there, as you remember, if you watched my Royal Navy review, uh, the Acasta's not a great ship in terms of being a good gunboat. And this guy is clearly not spoiling for a fight. I would say he should be able to beat a Wakeful, but I think his strategy here is to try to get away. I'm just not going to let that happen. Uh, I need to get up here, take out this Acasta, and hope that, you know, the rest of my team can survive somehow. Um, as you can see, they are all pretty much bunched up around me, which isn't all that bad if I can get the torpedoes out of the game. And there we see some torpedoes. We could probably throw in some torpedo beats here, but that seems like somebody else's thing. Uh, we easily dodge. He's shooting on single file. Uh, that's probably one of the disadvantages to single file. If you notice when I fire these, right now I'm firing them in what I might refer to as an I, I don't know man sort of formation. Because first of all, my aim is, is all over the place. And when he sees this coming at him, he's going to think, I don't know man. How do I get out of the way? Uh, in this case, it's just like question mark, not sure. Maybe he's not paying attention, but we get one, two, three, and four. Thank you. Enemy battleship destroyed. So I get enemy battleship destroyed. We're up to four ships killed. That's three destroyers and a battleship. And now I got this Phoenix coming in. We're down to just the two battleships on my side. I'm thinking I need to get this Phoenix out of the game and then maybe try to deal with this Carl Ruha. Um, I am moving inside of torpedo range and I am going to move inside sea detectability range. I do not immediately fire on him because I'm really hoping he doesn't really pay attention to me. Uh, but, you know, eventually you kind of have to notice the things that are right in front of your face. So, I think around this time he's going to start thinking, not so good. Uh, certainly his buddy realizes the sort of mortal peril uh, that his shipmate has or teammate has found himself in I feel pretty good about three torpedoes right there I was gonna turn around and spray the other torpedoes the other way but as it turns out I must have left them in, on like just six hit points the extra turn uh, kind of really screws me up in terms of being able to actually uh, get my torpedoes around on this other uh, destroyer and I just don't have enough hit points to actually pull through it. But we did manage to get a Kraken Unleashed. 70,000 damage in a tier three ship. That's pretty incredible. Uh, unfortunately, with the death of that battleship, it's two on one battleship duel and we are not gonna be able to win. I will save you the suspense. We'll jump to the end. Pretty decent game. It didn't really have to be that good and it was almost, almost so good. There you see with the five kills, top of the list. That's a little bit about how the sausage is made, but hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching my Royal Navy review, and I'll see you guys on the next one.